NASA's Mars Preservance rover safely lands on the Red Planet. Hello everyone, welcome back to Amit Media. Before continuing, don't forget to subscribe, like and share with your friends and be sure to watch until the end. Enjoy! After a long 7-month journey, NASA's Preservance rover successfully touches down on the Red Planet on February 18, 2021. Mission controller at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California celebrates landing NASA's fifth and most ambitious rover on Mars. The largest, most advanced rover NASA has ever sent to another planet has touched down on Mars after a 203-day journey traversing 293 million miles or 472 million kilometers. Confirmation of the successful touchdown was announced in mission control at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California at 3.55 p.m. EST or 12.55 p.m. PST. Packed with amazing and groundbreaking technology, the Mars 2020 mission launched July 30, 2020 from Florida. The Perseverance rover mission marks an ambitious first step in the effort to collect Mars samples and return them to the Earth. As you can see here, this is the first image NASA's Perseverance rover sent back after touching down on Mars. The view from one of Perseverance hazard cameras is partially obscured by a dust cover. This landing is one of those pivotal moments for NASA, the United States, and space exploration globally. When we know we are on the cusp of discovery and sharpening our pencils, so to speak, to rewrite the textbooks, said acting NASA Administrator Steve Georgic. The Mars 2020 Perseverance mission embodies our nation's spirit of persevering even in the most challenging of situations, inspiring and advancing science and exploration. The mission itself personifies the human ideal of preserving toward the future and will help us prepare for human exploration of the Red Planet. Now you might be wondering, how big is the rover? Well, it's about the size of a car. The 2,263 pound or 1,026 kilogram robotic geologist and astrobiologist will undergo several weeks of testing before it begins its two-year science investigation of Mars Jezero Crater. While the rover will investigate the rock and sediment of Jezero's ancient lake bed and river delta to characterize the region's geology and past climate, a fundamental part of its mission is astrobiology, including the research for signs of ancient microbial life. To that end, the Mars Sample Return Campaign, being planned by NASA and ESA, which stands for European Space Agency, will allow scientists on Earth to study samples collected by Perseverance to research for definitive signs of past life using instruments too large and complex to send to the Red Planet. An associate administrator for science at NASA says, Because of today's exciting events, the first pristine samples from carefully documented locations on another planet are another step closer to being returned to the Earth. Some 28 miles or 45 kilometers wide, Jezero Crater sits on the western edge of a giant impact basin just north of the Martian equator. Scientists have determined that 3.5 billion years ago, the crater had its own river delta and was filled with water. Now you might be wondering, what power is the rover? Well, the power system that provides electricity and heat for Perseverance through its exploration of Jezero Crater is a multi-mission radiostope thermoelectric generator, or you can just simply say MMRTG. The U.S. Department of Energy, or DOE, provided it to NASA through an ongoing partnership to develop power systems for civil space applications. Equipped with seven primary science instruments, the most cameras ever sent to Mars, and its exquisitely complex sample caching system, the first of its kind sent to space, Perseverance will scour the Jezero region for fossilized remains of ancient microscopic Martian life, taking samples along the way. Perseverance is the most sophisticated robotic geologist ever made, but verifying that microscopic life once existed carries an enormous burden of proof, said Laurie Glaze, director of NASA's Planetary Science Division. While we'll learn a lot with the great instruments we have abroad, the rover, it may very well require the far more capable laboratories and instruments back here on Earth to tell us whether our samples carry evidence that Mars once harbored life. Okay guys, that is it for today's video. If you liked it, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share with your friends. And be sure to share your suggestions down in the comment section below. Have a great day and a fantastic one.